Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. I have a pretty good video to go over with you today because we've been getting a lot of calls and requests from customers that just want to see the quote with solar only. And I thought, you know what? I better just do a video to show why solar only isn't worth it in the state of California anymore under the new solar billing program and why we are pushing for 100% attachment on batteries with your solar system. Whether that's with backup or without backup, I'd kind of recommend without backup because it's really the most cost effective method and really in your best interest to at least have the battery and you can always add the backup later. But beyond that, this video really is just going to cover a solar only system, our lowest entry cost that we can get it to using a high quality solar modules from REC and a high quality inverter from Tesla. This is just a standard string inverter. So there's no fanciness going on besides the string level optimization, but you won't find any module level monitoring or anything like that. So if you're interested in getting a quote, that's custom to your exact needs and wants, go ahead and request it by using the link down in the description below. We service a huge area here in Southern California, and we would love to have you as a customer. And heck, while you're down there, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up at the end if you found it helpful. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so you can see what our proposal looks like. If you don't already have one from us, you can request your quote, so that way you have a good idea of what type of system is going to work best for you. Now, right now, when we send out a quote, we're including battery backup on all our systems. We're trying to do 100% attachment with storage with all our solar projects because we know how much more you can save with the battery and I really want to break that down in this proposal. So what I've done is I built out a system. This is based on an energy usage of roughly 12,684 kilowatt hours, just under 13,000 kilowatt hours. And what I did was build a solar only system and then I bumped it up for that solar only system to 120% offset. So we're looking at 100% offset and 120% offset, just so that way you can see it doesn't matter how much more solar you add, it's not going to really make a meaningful impact on your utility bill if you don't have the battery. So I did another video on that that kind of goes into more details, but at the end of the day, the utility companies are rewarding you and paying you big dollars during certain intervals of the year to discharge your battery to the grid and not just use it for yourself in the evenings. So with this configuration, if we look at a 21 panels, we're using the REC 405s. These are a phenomenal module, 25 year equipment, performance, and an umbrella labor warranty. And then I did something a little different here. So I recently did a video on the Tesla solar inverter that's right back there. And I wanted to just build out a brand new system. So this is just an old school string inverter configuration. It does have module, well, not module level, but string level optimization. There is no module level monitoring with the Tesla solar inverter and it supports a pretty big solar system. So I can give you this scenario and it's gonna be really cost effective, of course. I strongly recommend in-phase microinverters. It, even if you have a perfect roof, it is better to just have those microinverters uh, because you get that module level monitoring, each panel acts independent. It's really nice. But for the sake of just showing the, the lowest entry cost solar system that we could possibly offer and seeing how it, much of an impact it could potentially make on your utility bill is what I wanted to do. So this is the lowest entry cost system I can design. As you can see, we're looking at 101% energy offset with this configuration. But the problem is it's only from the solar production. So we're generating a year's worth of energy, but is it really offsetting? And the truth is it's only offsetting 37% of this particular model. Now, as we go through, you can see your purchase price. And so we're looking at a total cost of $21,000 for a little over eight kilowatt solar system. This is an 8.5, so that's a really good price. Now, if we switch over to financing, this is where we're looking at the electric bill savings. And this is something you need to pay close attention to, just not on the monthly, but also in the five year and 10 year plan. A lot of people move every 10, 15 years. So it's good to see that you can make back your money in less than 10 years. That's the goal here, right? Well, it's gonna be pretty hard to make back your money if your solar payment, if you were financing it, 
at $126 a month, and then your new electric bill is $227. So you're not really saving that much. Yeah, it's maybe 20, 30 bucks a month. Some months, sure, it's more compared to other months, but at the end of the day, not having the battery is not making a very big impact, right? So if we go to the 25 panel, so let's boost this up to 120% offset. So we're at 119 over, 120% over what you're consuming over the course of the year. What are we looking at? Well, the new bill went down to $194 and your payment for the solar went up a little bit. That went up to $146. So you're saving a little bit more, but it's, again, what's not making an impact is on the utility bill. The solar only systems aren't making an impact. Now, if we take this same Tesla system, I'm actually gonna do the 21 panel configuration and we convert this over to a Powerwall Plus system. So we're gonna use one Tesla Powerwall with the Tesla inverter. You get medium backup with this configuration. So all the lights and outlets of your home are gonna be backed up. Same solar system. Yes, it costs more because there's a battery. Oh my goodness, look at that. The new estimated utility bill from the utility company is $80 a month, and that's the average. So you're looking at spending less than $1,000 a year in utility expenses. It could be less depending on your usage and configuration. I have plenty of customers that it's we're estimating $11. So it's all about what your budget is, how much you're trying to save, and how fast you are. Monthly payment, $224. It's not that much more than the configuration for just getting 120% offset, you know? And I've had some people asking for 150% offset. It doesn't make an impact if you only go solar. You need the battery. Now let's look at these five years. So here's the 100% offset, 21 panels with a Tesla Powerwall, and you're saving $16,882 in five years. That's crazy fast. And at 10 years, we're at $36,700 saved. So guess what? We've made back our money in less than 10 years. We've saved as much as we've spent. As you can see, the net cost for this particular design is under 33,000. And that's after the tax credit and that's after the state rebate. So of course, if you're paying cash, your return on investment is gonna be crazy quick. We're at six years, six months. What's wrong with that? I don't see any issues. Let's look at that with the solar only. Oh, so if I only go solar, I'm looking at seven years, eight months to make back my money. Yes, you're making money, you're saving money, but you're not making a meaningful impact. Your bill went from $370 a month to $190 a month. Okay, that's not that helpful in my opinion. If you bump it up to the 25 panels, so now we're at 120% offset, seven years, four months. Not a great impact, but guess what? You buy the battery, holy crap, you shave off a whole year in your return on investment. The, it's just, it's such a difference to include the battery. And what we found in all the modeling is you really just need 10 kilowatt hours. The more storage you have, yeah, sure, the better. You need at least 100% offset on the solar and at least 10 kilowatt hours. You have that winning combination, you can expect to have a very low electric bill from the utility company moving forward. And you're, you're securing yourself. I mean, they're going to continue to increase the utility rates. I mean, there's, there's no end in sight because it's costing them more and more money to generate this energy. So you better just make that investment sooner rather than later. And there's never been a better time, in my opinion, to go solar with storage than it is right now under the new solar billing program uh, that's offered by Edison, Pacific Gas and Electric, and San Diego Gas and Electric. Those three utility providers are giving you more credits in the first 10 years as being an early adopter than if you wait. So if you're able to go solar now and get the battery, it's definitely in your best interest. Of course, you can just get a solar system. You know, hey, get Enphase microinverters, just get the solar system if that's in your budget, and then add the battery maybe next year or the following year. Uh, that could also help you save a little bit of money right now. And then once you're able to get that battery, you'll see a big difference in what your utility expenses are because it's, it's a night and day difference. And so is the savings. I mean, it is a dramatic increase in having the battery over the solar only system. 
So that's it for this week's video. Be sure to request your quote from us by using the link down in the description below if you live in our area of Southern California. We are a certified partner for Enphase Energy, for the Franklin Hull Home Battery, for the Tesla Powerwall, and even the Canadian Solar EP Cube. So whichever solution you want, we probably have it because it's probably a great solution to be offering. So go ahead, use the link down in the description to request that quote. And of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and family. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.